Hey, welcome back today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a five ingredient easy a chicken pot pie that is free of the eight most common allergens. Okay, so the five ingredients that we're going to use are chicken broth. Imagine brand's been around for a while. We've been using it forever. Um, this one's uh, free range chicken broth, low in sodium. It's got minimal ingredients and it's organic. It's an awesome broth that tastes really good. Um, we're also going to be using the second ingredient is cornstarch. This is an organic cornstarch uh, that I'm using. And the third ingredient is frozen vegetables. It, your choice of vegetables. This one's got peas, carrots, corn, and string beans. Um, this happens to be a ShopRite organic frozen brand. So frozen vegetables. Um, the fourth ingredient is the pie crust. This particular one um, is, is free of the eight most common allergens and it is called Holy Wholesome. Um, so we're going to be using that one. You have to take the pie crust out about 15 minutes before you start to prepare your meal so that it can get to room temperature. And the last ingredient is our rotisserie chicken. You can use any already cooked chicken. It's so easy if you're able to purchase a rotisserie chicken like from Costco. Their chicken is, is, is safe, is allergy safe, as well as... Um, there's a, uh, I go to my uh, shop, right? They have a kosher section that has a kosher chicken that's just salt and chicken, which is awesome. And uh, those are our ingredients. Let's get started. Okay, so I've added three cups of the chicken broth to the pot. Um, and I've also added two tablespoons of the cornstarch. And I haven't started up yet uh, the heat because I want to, um, you have to put the cornstarch into the broth while it's cold cool so that it all gets dissolved. Um, this looks like it's going to be thick enough for us. You can always add some more cornstarch if you think it's not thick enough. So we're going to just, just heat that up and uh, then get started on filling our pie crust. Okay, so I'm going to use the um, directions on the pie crust as to the temperature that I'm going to set my oven to. So I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 and while that's heating up we're going to fill the pie crust. So the first thing I'm going to add is the chicken. By the way, I'm going to stir my, my broth periodically just to make sure that the cornstarch is staying, that it's not sticking and it's, it's been fully dissolved. So I add my rotisserie chicken, just fill the, pot, fill, fill the pie crust with as much chicken as, as you think you might like in your pie. Then I'm just going to pour our frozen vegetables directly on top of the chicken. Spread that out. Okay, so I brought the broth to a boil and then I poured about two cups of this on top of this. That was enough for this particular pie crust. Sometimes you're going to, you'll see that I used about two cups of the broth. Sometimes your pie crust is going to take more broth. You should put as much broth as to co totally cover the vegetables with not too much spillage. Parchment paper underneath, so just in case I did go over, I could always change the paper. It'll sop that up. Okay, now I'm going to use the top of the pie crust. I'm sorry, the top of the pot pie is going to be the second pie crust that usually comes with the frozen pie crusts. And for this particular um, pie crust, it's a little hard to work with when it's defrosted. So you gently use a knife to, um, to slide under the pie crust to loosen it when you're turning it over. But some pie crusts are easier to work with than others, and some of them you just flip this over on top of the pie, and you've got uh, your chicken pot pie. And add salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so I'm flipping this over. Beautiful. And now you just put some slits in the top, and this is going to bake really nicely. You can use a fork to kind of gently put the pie crust, you know, to close it up. Because we boiled the broth, the amount of time that this takes to cook really depends on the pie crust that you buy. This particular one says it's 30 minutes. We're going to check just to make sure that it's golden brown, um, that, and we don't have to worry about the ingredients inside because everything's fully cooked. The vegetables need it, just needed to be warmed. Okay, so we're going to put this in our oven that we've already preheated to 350. Okay, it took like exactly 30 minutes and this pie looks great. It's golden brown, the pie crust filled in, um, and I hope that your family enjoys this as much as mine. This, it's, a, it's a real go-to for us. So easy to make and tastes delicious.